Hello, this is Tom T. Hall, and you're listening to The Five Count. Question number one is how did you get started in the music business? I started playing the guitar when I was four years old, and I'm just as good today as I was then. (laughs) (laughs) Number two is were you surprised when the songs you wrote for other artists started to become so popular? Well, I worked for a publishing company, and I wrote the songs, and they got them recorded, so that was their job. I was uh, very pleased uh, when I heard, uh, I think the first song I had recorded was for Jimmy C. Newman, called A DJ for a Day. That was a, it was a, it was a big day in my life when I first heard it on the radio. Number three is what made you decide to start recording your own songs instead of letting other artists record them? I was recording, uh, uh, I was writing songs uh, for New Keys Music in Nashville, Jimmy Key, and um, we were taking some songs to Jerry Kennedy at Mercury Records, and uh, one day Jerry said, you know, Tom T, these, I love these songs, but they're very personal, and I can't get anybody else to record them. He said, uh, if you ever want to get these songs on a record, you're going to have to start singing them yourself. And before that, I had turned down recording contracts because I didn't want to travel on the road. I just wanted to stay at home and live out of the mailbox. But uh, I made, uh, I recorded the song called Wash My Face in the Morning Dew. And uh, the rest is little known history, but history nonetheless. Uh, yeah, and uh, but I have to say something here. Uh, the main reason you started recording them yourself so it would, was that so you didn't have to kiss anyone else's foot. Oh, was it a foot? Well, okay. Uh, what was it like on the road? Any favorite memory stories from your touring days? I've been retired for some time now, and when I wake up in the morning, the last thing I think about is wanting to be on the road. It was a lot of work, a lot of travel, and I'm glad I got back alive. Your children's songs are, the uh, question number five is, your children's songs are especially near and dear to your hearts. What made you decide to record songs for children? That is a little bit involved, that uh, question, because uh, I had two little nephews, uh, Mickey and Bobby. I think they were five and six years old, and they came and spent the summer with us. And I gave them a tour of Fox Hollow. We have a 60-acre farm outside Nashville. And I just followed them around and wrote, songs about things that uh, they were impressed with, with little baby ducks and and, uh, one-legged chicken and a mysterious fox, and and, uh, that all worked out wonderfully, and I'm proud of it. Who are some of your influences? Who are some of your favorite people to perform with? That's question number six. Well, some of my influences uh, were uh, some of the... uh, older guys. I had a lot of bluegrass influence. Uh, Bill Monroe and uh, Flatt and & Scruggs and uh, Ralph Stanley and Jimmy Martin and those people. I grew up listening to bluegrass music and I still I think there's a kind of a touch of, it, touch of it in all my music. Number seven, what are your thoughts on today's country music scene? Do you feel today's country artists like the storytelling that you and artists from your generation were known for? I don't like to make judgments about today's country music. I think they're making too, they're, uh, for one thing, they're too good looking. Uh, they're making too much money and they're having too much fun. So other than that, I have no complaints about it. How did you feel when you found out you were inducted into the Country Music Hall of Fame? Uh, when I was inducted into the Country Music Hall of Fame, I couldn't think of anything to say. I've been thinking about it for a couple of years now, and I still can't think of anything to say except it's a great honor.